Suspected Texas high school gunman released on bail one day after teacher and students shot. Now, I wonder why this could be. I mean, I'm sure that... I'm sure that this guy has got white privilege working for. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, I'm yeah, so sorry. Go. Yeah, yeah, and of course, it's they're going to probably try to sell it as some kind of self defense against a, a bully or some other injustice that took place on the establishment. Gee, it's almost like. You know this stuff. Civil rights attorney Kim T. Cole, who spoke on behalf of the family, blasted reporters outside the jail for portraying the dangerous incident as a standard issue school shooting. There are numerous school shootings that have occurred across this country which are tragic. All school shootings are tragic. But in this situation, it was not someone who was just out to go and shoot a school and had made up their mind and said, you know, hey, I'm I'm upset and I'm just going to go shoot anyone I see. That was not the situation here. Pray tell. What is the situation? Because this family spokeswoman has claimed that he acted out of self-defense after being robbed and targeted by bullies. Mm -hmm. Footage on social media. So again, this is something that is caught on film. Showed simpkins getting into an altercation with class during, during class with another student that escalated into gunfire. Now, here's the funny part. The fight was broken up and the two students calmed down. But then Simpkins pulled out a firearm from his orange backpack and fired several shots that hit three people, mm. according to the arrest warrant on Thursday. Okay. What state does this happen in? Uh, I want to say it was Texas. Could be wrong. Oh. Yes, Texas yeah. student. Uh, oh, the, 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 Arlington, Texas. I'm going to be honest. The Texas governor needs to get directly involved in this. And the prosecutor that allowed this guy to get on, on bail needs to get folded up and fucking retired or kicked out of the fucking... I mean, this is insane. But remember, I'm I'm sorry. If you go into a school and start shooting it oh, up, yeah. you know, there, there's no excuse for that. No, there's not. I'm sorry. But, but remember, the reason why we're even talking about acquitting Kyle Rittenhouse is because of my white privilege, right? Yep. When's the last time you even heard about this kid? Uh, one time in the media and then never again. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's amazing how that works, isn't it? Yeah, the minute, you know, and also they don't they don't mention the race of shooters. If they're black or... Uh, no, a, no, never. Only when they're white. Yep. Only when it's a white shooter do they like, oh, white person goes nuts, la, la, la. And yet, here we are. This is essentially what is happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're trying... I mean, there are people out there. There are confirmed leftoids who honestly believe that Kyle Rittenhouse shot a bunch of black people. They are that stupid and completely out to lunch. They have not looked up one stick of evidence for themselves. Not one. I love it. See, look, when I hear stuff like that, in my mind, I'm doing like what Louder with Crowder does when he goes to these places and he says, change my mind. <laughs> yes. I'd be like, it'd be, I'd have to be like, prove to me you're not an idiot. Yes. That, that's, way I, that's what I would call it. Please. Please prove to me you're not an idiot. Yeah. Yes. Sell me your intellect. I dare you. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Sell me marriage. Sell me marriage. <laughs> Sell me marriage. Come on. 